int phd or msc which path one should choose up to after their bsc kya aapko bsc ke baad direct int phd mein jana chahiye ya fir you should wait do your msc and then opt for a phd which path to choose this is a confusing question that the youngsters has and many of you guys have asked this question that is why i thought of making a video and i want to share my opinion by the way guys i chose int phd after my bsc so here is how i have decided so int phd means you would be able to finish phd and msc together the degrees would be awarded together now here is a common misconception people would say that okay if you do in phd your entire msc and phd would be finished within 6 years that's a bloody lie i'll tell you why because this has to be rephrased if you do in phd the funding that would be provided to you is for next 6 years if you do a phd the funding that would be provided to you is next 5 years okay that means after 6 years you might or might not finish your research work but the government won't fund you anymore this is the thing so people think in this way in a very linear manner okay agar main msc नहीं किया इंट पीएचडी में चला गया देन मेरा तो एक साल सेव हो गया एमएससी में दो साल और पीएचडी में पांच साल टोटल सात साल बट यहां पे क्या हो रहा है कि एमएससी एक साल में हो रहा है और पीएचडी पांच साल में हो रहा है छह साल में सब कुछ खत्म अरे भाई ऐसा नहीं होता है बिकॉज समटाइम्स योर रिसर्च वर्क वुड ड्रैग यू फर्दर राइट सो इट कुड एनी वे स्पिल बियॉन्ड सिक्स ईयर्स एवरेज ड्यूरेशन ऑफ पी एच डी इन इंडिया इज अनफॉर्चुनेटली मोर देन सिक्स ईयर्स देर आर हार्डली पीपल हु फिनिश ऑन टाइम देर आर वेरी फ्यू पीपल हु कैन फिनिश देयर पी एच डी ऑन टाइम लकीली मेरे लिए ये साढ़े चार साल में हो गया था बट इनिशियली लेट मी टेल यू हाउ आई डिसाइड सो बेसिकली फॉर इंट पी एच डी वट आई फील इज you should have a detailed idea about the research if you have detailed idea about research you know how to do research you know how to you have enough practical uh, experiences from internship then you should consider going to int phd because once you are in int phd you cannot expect somebody would really help you to understand the basic concepts then people would uh, help you to do the research and you would start from the scratch that's a misconception and many people fail in these int phd uh, procedure or are not successful because during their undergrads they didn't have intense research experience so for me what happened in my undergrads i had quite a extensive uh, research experience during my summer internship i repeatedly went to the same lab for several times i already had a publication before i joined in phd so by that time i lived the life of a researcher i knew what it feels like i have seen phd students around me their frustrations their thrills and all of these so i knew that okay i liked it i want to be a researcher and that is why i didn't want to waste my one years or more years so i was very confident about it but agar main confident nahi hota i wouldn't have gone to int phd and i have seen many people who has joined int phd program without any idea about research later on they regret it so if you are not really convinced about or confident about your own skills own understanding then a transition is always good go to a msc program find an msc program such as msc program in iisc msc program in tifr that gives you enough enough experience about research in that context msc program in nbrc is also very good so this give you a good uh, idea about research but it's not mandatory right so basically your overall degree is not solely dependent on the research work there is also a coursework component to it there is also research work so that is something you have to understand 
when you go for into phd that means mostly you would have minimalistic coursework but most of your uh, degree would be based on the research work that you do so if you are not good at research you don't know how research is done it would be detrimental for you that is why i always say you should first ask yourself are you good at it do you want to do this and do you enjoy doing this these are the three questions you should be asking before you choose a program at the end of the day this is your life so it should be your choice but my job is to share my own experience such that you can get benefit out of it sometimes people think that okay msc won't give you a give you a stipend but in phd you would get a stipend let's take in phd please don't do this mistake so it also it's also possible so think in this way let's say you join the msc program you saw what type of problem indian researchers faced either you know how to solve that problem you are comfortable with it it's also possible that you don't like that problem you don't want to solve that problem you don't want to get trapped in that context msc would give you basically a no strings attached kind of scenario abhi kya hota hai ki people join into phd after 3 years they can't take it anymore and they have to leave once they leave they have no degree imagine if you have done an MP msc conventional msc at least you would have a msc degree okay a conventional msc degree is better than no degree right so that is why taking in phd after bsc is highly subjected to your own confidence i strongly recommend and suggest if you are not very good at research try to look for a program that bridge between research and conventional textbook oriented education otherwise you would face a lot of difficulty after having so much of research experience in undergrad i faced a lot of difficulty in my transition it was really difficult to a manage time b manage studies along with lab work c propel the project forward so all of those were really difficult for me but luckily i finished it i also uh, scored uh, first division with distinction in my msc i can show it clear, quickly here but for everybody the case is not like that so what really matters is what type of person you are you might not be prepared for research after your bsc days that's completely fine you have to accept it and look for a better program that would give you an exploratory opportunity sometimes it's important to try before you buy that is why you should share this video with your friends and please subscribe to this channel for more uh, career related discussions and i hope this was useful see you in next video